So we ended the last video making the spreadsheet. You can see it's view only. So what you'd want to do um, to actually do your to actually do this with actual numbers you have is you would make a copy, and then you'd want to save it to your drive. So like I'll save mine my algebra folder and uh, select there, and just click OK. Um, I can close up the second version of this. Now that's one way to do it. The other, and then I can change this data, right? So from here, I could copy and paste from a Google Doc, at which point you should be able to just delete this. And then you should be able to copy this Desmos and paste it in. So that'll work, but you have to be in a spreadsheet. The other choice within this would be to um, click on your help, go to regressions, and actually click the plus here to add a table. And then from the table, you could type in the data from the spreadsheet. Um, okay. 11. Two sixty three, three one 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 ninety four, and sixty two. All right, so you could. Add. Then once you've created the table, you would click to add the new item, and you can see both help things are in the same thing. So just add new item, then you go expression, and then from the expression, it kind of tells you right what to do using the help mode. So you go y sub one, and then you use that little squiggly is m1 m times x sub 1 plus b so do y so when you do y1 it does it and then there's um gotta hide the tool there's an onboard keyboard here in desmos and if you click the abc button you can see right here by near where my picture is there's the tilde is that and then you would do m just actually type in m x sub 1 so you do x1 and then you'd hit shift with the equal sign plus be. You can use the on-screen keyboard to kind of type in those things there. Um, it then talks about plotting the residuals. We don't need to worry about that for this video, so I'm actually just going to hit X, close that out at this point. So we're, we're done there. And it gives us all the information to then come in here and write our regress regression line. So our regression line would be Y equals MX plus B. So Y equals, and M is right here, 4.09. So we do 4.09. Zero, so tenths, hundredths, thousandths, zero, nine, zero, and then it would round to that. So we could actually just say 4.09 if we wanted. X plus B, and B is negative, so we could actually say minus B, minus 111.561. And there's nothing to round there. Um, if I want to change the formatting, it looks like these tables are a little messed up here in the Google Doc. I'm going to double click there just to put it all together. So I'm going to quickly change the formatting of this Google Doc. So everything is here. There we go. And I don't want this to be bold, so I'll hit Control-B. You could use the insert equation feature. Um, but just because of what this is saying, it doesn't. there's no like exponents or fractions or anything. So we could actually just type it out using regular text. Um, the slope interpretation. So here I'll come down. My text is bold, so I don't want it bold. Uh, my slope interpretation is this here. So it's saying that whatever the temperature is, I multiply it by this. So for every degree in temperature in or degree in temperature increase the ice cream sales increase by $4. And that's what I would interpret that as. Again, you just look at this. This is going to increase my Y value, which is ice cream sales in dollars. And so it's about 4 So I could say, I should actually say by about $4. Or I could even say by about $4.09 which might make sense to change the equation then, all right? Um, looks like I gotta do another video to go over intercept, interpretation of intercept and kind of actually